This video is about predictions that began to be made toward the end of World War II that declared Germany, along with other nations, was prophesied to rise up and become engaged in a third world war, a war that is now rapidly closing in on the world. Before World War II had come to an end, a man named Herbert Armstrong began to make predictions that he explained would lead up to a prophesied nuclear World War III, in which Europe would become engaged at the forefront and that Germany would be one of the leading nations in Europe at that time. A few years later, right around 1950, 70 years ago, Herbert Armstrong began giving even stronger predictions and warnings as he spoke about a prophesied World War III. At that time, he was ridiculed by many for what he had to say. In warning about what he claimed would be the final war that would be in the end time, he explained that there were very specific modern-day nations identified in Bible prophecy that would become engaged in the forefront of that war. And although the names of these nations are different now than they were as tribes in small countries a few thousand years ago, some of those are very specific about nations today. These prophecies speak of a dangerous alliance of China and Russia. Then there is Germany and the nations of Western Europe that are spoken of extensively. Even more so, there is much more about Great Britain, Ireland, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and most of all, the United States, and what would happen to them at the end time. Beginning right around 1950, Herbert Armstrong was most ridiculed because of his remarks about how Germany would rise again in world power as the leading nation in a league of united European nations. This seemed totally ludicrous, preposterous to many who heard it, especially considering the devastation that had just been wrecked upon Germany by the Allied forces. This warning about a Third World War was that it would not only be a nuclear war, but that it would lead to the annihilation of all mankind if God did not intervene to stop it, which Herbert Armstrong said God has promised He would do. And one has to consider that in 1950, there was not the existence of any arsenal of nuclear weapons and nations as there has been over the past few decades. Herbert Armstrong made very specific predictions about Europe that have already come to pass. He explained how Europe, with Germany at its helm, would rise up again in a union of nations that would have a common government, a common currency, and a final military union that would consist of exactly 10 European nations. Then seven years later, in March of 1957, France, West Germany, Italy, the Netherlands, Belgium, and Luxembourg signed the Treaty of Rome to establish the European Economic Community, the EEC, also known as the Common Market. This eventually transformed into the development of the European Union that exists today. Many people mocked these prophesied end-time events that Herbert Armstrong said would come to pass. And although he did see Europe come together in a cooperative governmental structure there in 1957, it wasn't until 13 years after his death that Europe introduced the currency of the euro to the world in 1999. This European Union grew to be 28 nations, and only recently has Great Britain opted out of that union. Then, 32 years after his death, in 2018, Europe entered into a unified military agreement among 10 nations, which is the exact number he also foretold would come to pass. How could anyone make such a prediction that to most people was ludicrous at the beginning? How could anyone make such a prediction that was so exact 
concerning what would come to pass in Europe just before World War III would begin. This in itself should cause people to set up and take notice because it was explained that after these events would come to pass, that the next thing to follow is a nuclear war. So now, just how close is that war? This man knew these things because of prophetic warnings that he came to see and believe concerning the end time, events that were revealed to him by God. There is no other way to know and predict the things he did so accurately, so perfectly, other than it had to come from God. The truth is that World War III is fast approaching. More about these predictions from prophecy and how many other prophetic events have now come to pass is covered in my new book, which is free on the internet. It's entitled, When the Countdown Ends. This book explains how many other prophetic events for the end time that go far beyond the predictions made by Herbert Armstrong have been taking place for the past 26 years. But the world has been fully unaware of these prophecies that have already been fulfilled. This book covers e these events that predicted a worldwide economic crash that happened in 2008 and the greater importance of that year that will soon become repeated and magnified in a far greater global economic implosion. It also covers the prophetic significance of the events on 9-11 and now the COVID-19 pandemic, which are events that are now pushing the world more quickly into World War III. There is a literal prophetic countdown that has been ongoing since 1994 that is leading up to this catastrophic war that is now on our doorstep. That prophetic countdown is now at its end. Not only have the major prophecies leading up to World War III that were declared by Herbert Armstrong back in 1950 now come to pass, but many others have also been fulfilled. The next great prophecy concerning the end time concerns a nuclear attack on the United States. All this is covered in this new free book. It would be wise to be aware and to prepare for what is about to come on this world. This new book, When the Countdown Ends, is free at CountdownEnds.com.